What is happening? You got a body like an avalanche. You got the guy of a bodice. Whoa! We are running late today. Are we? Isn't that a funny thing? Time? Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Because you're never really late. Because wherever you are, that's where you are at the time that it is. I understand the concept, right? You make a plan, you got a schedule, appointment. So you made a commitment, an agreement to be somewhere at a time. So in relationship to that, you're like, I'm not on time, I'm late. But you are where you are and it, things take as long as they take. That's where we differ, though. This is, like, the only, like, issue we run into. Not even an issue, but, like, I don't like rushing. That's, like... Me neither. <laughs> rushing dressing? Um, and so I like to leave... I don't like rushing for collusion. early. I don't like to leave for things when we're supposed to be somewhere. I like to be respectful of other people's time, too. Right. What does that mean? It means what it means. What's that smell? Bernie. It does smell Bernie. Sounds like Bernie Sanders. Do you want to keep going while I drop, or? No. All right. Be back. I mean, obviously, you got to plan accordingly when it comes to scheduling stuff. And then... You know, if something takes a little longer than it takes, you just let things fall where they lie and communicate with people about that. But I don't think feeling bad about not being at a place at a predetermined time really does the heart any good. Huh, I don't, I'm not and that's that how I... I justify never being anywhere on time. <laughs> I'm not saying that I feel bad, I just in the moment Rush, like rushing driving like fast having to like not be not sure what the traffic's like like all those things I think about and that's good why I'm that's that's why I'm driving that's why you have to stop at FedEx no I think it is important to to hold yourself to whatever agreements you make. Time being one of those considerations. And not intentionally... Like I know I definitely need ab to have to Abuse or... Um, put someone else in a compromised position because they are more punctual. And... Uh, I mean, I definitely feel like if I if I make a commitment to a time, I can already hear my sister saying, "No, you don't. No, you don't." And my sister is like, "If like, you're a minute late, you're and, late." Andrea's like, "You said six fifty three, and it's six fifty forty five, fifty three eight five what? seven. I don't know. I already forgot the number that I said." <laughs> But yeah, if you're like not a minute, if you're not there a minute before you said, boom. But it's funny because um, that's just kind of like the self-employed lifestyle, right? Everything's on your schedule and you begin to kind of lose that grip of a schedule or reality of other people's timeline when you make your own schedule. And I'm sure there's a lot of resellers out there that have a much more strict schedule. Because you're not clocking in and out or having like responsibilities like picking up kids, although we're picking up Emily today and we're exactly. running a wee -hee bit behind. But it's fine, like her program's still open, it's just we like to get her at a certain time. Yeah. Oh, but what I was gonna say was that for 
several years, probably like three or four years, I was doing extra work and um, it's like, and it's like too far to say acting, but uh, I was on like Grimm and the librarians, uh, did some commercials and such. And when you get those gigs, punctuality is enormous as far as your reputation and your credibility as you know with whatever your agency is so you treat it like the most important job interview every time you get booked so you're like 30 minutes early to wherever you're supposed to be with your clothing options dressed in your 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 best first option ready to go like people remember you for that oh I don't want to yeah I'm going out this way and so similarly or not similarly asimilarly uh, when you're when you're self-employed, you're like, you're running on my schedule. But that's not always polite. I guess. Especially if you and have pre, pre-discussed or pre-agreed on and what's a, a time And what's kind of funny minute. about that is that people who aren't self-employed think, oh, well, that just means you can come whenever because you could just stop working because mm-hmm. it's on your, your that's time. Exactly, that's another thing is there's a huge and it's like, I only say would, huge misconception because that's my perspective but from the no people that I've been around. Ask someone who has a nine to five job, like, oh can you just leave right now? Like you'd be like, No, I can't. Right. If you said that you got held up at work, no one would bat an eye. They'd be like, Oh yeah, your boss running your heart. Well I am the toughest boss for me. <laughs> Okay, like I run myself extra hard, harder than someone else would. There's like a lot more snow on the ground over there. Look at that. I know. I think it's snowed more over here. Weird. Uh, that's not weird. It's just more snow over here. Um, so yeah, like as an entrepreneur, someone who's self-employed, who runs their own business, you, if you're not a you're gonna run yourself harder if you wanna be successful. So it makes more sense that you're not always gonna conform to that universal timeline of timeline. Timeline? (laughs) Timeline. It's a little citrusy. (laughs) Do you feel that? Do you taste it? Yeah, I I know I need to work on like getting anxiety about and that's the thing is, Leaving on what's, time. what stems from it as a result of holding that that tension or anxiety around operating within a time, instead of just going with the flow of things that you have set and just communicating with people where you are and what's going on, and not judging yourself or other people for not falling in that you know, that that perfect parameter Whoa. of obsessing so about there. being everywhere on that about being super anal about time. Yeah. But obviously that's all in consideration of like prioritizing and your schedule and whatnot and blah blah blah. Always make it to the post office on time. Ha! And no one's died because I wasn't there when I said I was going to be there yet. When that happens, I'm sure that will change things. <laughs> Does that ha- do I wonder if that's happened to anyone. They're like, well, obviously. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that's happened to someone. They're like, I'll be there at 7 o'clock. And they, yeah, they were there that. at 7.15 and they're like, no! <laughs> Had I been here 15 minutes sooner? Yeah, let's not I could think have, about that. Yeah. That has happened. Yeah, I went to the most extreme scenario. 
How about what did? How did we wake up this morning? How did we wake? Oh, we we woke up this morning to the neighbor's fence being on fire, like across the street. And my first thought was, call Terry. So I called Terry. Who was our neighbor? And I was like, Terry, neighbor. the neighbor's fence is on fire. And then he was like, okay. <laughs> and I like, we hung up. And I was like getting dressed and I opened the door to go over and he's just like full speed like RoboCop motion. Jumps in. Runs straight around the corner. He doesn't even see what he's running into. <laughs> and But he's just running to it. That was like the most incredible thing I've seen. Our neighbor, all of the neighbors, some, another neighbor came with the fire extinguisher. Another neighbor was calling 911. Everyone was on it. The people whose house it was, they weren't home. They weren't home. So, and luckily it was just their fence. Nothing came over their into house their house. Their house didn't get damaged, thankfully. Um, and the firefighters had it out. I mean, Terry and the guy had it out pretty much already. Yeah. By the time the firefighters got there. but. And the thing that is really, like, you have to remember that if your neighbor is in trouble you're the next one to be in trouble right and you just have you just have to ex you you need to fight hard and extend to protect it as if your neighborhood it's and like your, your house wow it looks also. beautiful yeah. over here it's all snowy over here because if your neighbor's house burns down oh. your oh, house is. She's ready. is next so if you can do something, you gotta jump into action. I don't know why I'm saying that like you don't know that, but now, now you know that I know. And hopefully you know. Call it. All right, <laughs> we should call it. Call it. That's Another it. Conversation. All right, love you guys. Um, hope there was something of value in this. If not, at least some kind of entertainment, some joy you derived from it. What have we learned? What have we learned? Time is just a construct. That's right. It is, folks. It's just trying to trap you. Don't fall for it. Clocks are man-made. Along with socks. And I like socks. So, you know, you gotta pick your battles. And good night. That about wraps it up. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and tell me what do you think about time? Are you on time? Are you not on time? How do you feel about it? All right. We will talk to you guys later. Peace. And. Love, and. Picking. Peace, love, and picking. <laughs>